and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vi Lux. That's right, we're combining Vi and Lux together. This is kind of like our Mage Seeker Lux deck that we have with Lux and Heimerdinger, but we're going to be going with Vi and then we got some other uh, card choices. Not really that focused on the Mage Seekers too much. We have Mage Seeker Investigator in here. Um, but that's our only real one because this isn't this one doesn't really count because it just creates the six cost spell. But definitely really focused on spells and spell mana um, with this deck, uh, you know, and the spell mana of course being important, spells and spell mana being important for Lux because you can see we have like Secession in here as you know just a um, a three mana three three, but it's spell mana and so that that helps us level up our Lux. Um, and, you know, like Remembrance, of course, getting our spell mana. Um, definitely focused on, on fighting. We have Radiant, three Radiant Guardians in here, which is going to be a real good card against aggro. And then we have Single Combats and three Concerted Strike to be able to help strike with the Radiant Guardian as well. Uh, let's see. Our Eager Apprentice is, like, this is a, a good card in, like, I really like Eager Apprentice here. I think that's a great card with Remembrance. Because with the Remembrance decks, you want to have turn 3 Remembrance, right? Like, that's like your best turn 3 play. Eager Apprentice is a 2-drop you can play on turn 2. You get your 2 spell mana so that you can still, on turn 3, have the 6 mana for Remembrance. But you can also just have a blocker on turn 2. So I, I like that addition quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Top end, you know, of course, 2 Unyielding Spirits, which are awesome with Vi and Lux. A Progress Day. Also awesome with Lux. Then we also got a Judgment. Judgment can be really good with Radiant Guardian, but also good with, with Vi. Because Vi's level up is whenever Vi strikes for 10 or more. Well, Judgment can help you get strike for 10 real fast. <laughs> so you can level up Vi. But then also, if you have your Vi attacking, and uh, if you have like other things attacking, and let's say they block with like three things, they have like three things blocking, you can go Judgment and you're striking units while you're attacking. You can strike their three things with your Vi, with your leveled up Vi and you do 15 to the enemy Nexus, for an example. So, so Judgment works real well with Vi also. Um, let's see. So that's kind of about it. The, just kind of looking at this deck, I really do wish that, that we were playing, you know, like I'm going to be playing the deck as is. This is a donation deck. That's what we have. This is a viewer submitted deck. Um, I, I think that we should have Mage Seeker Persuader. I think this is the best Mage Seeker. Um, I think this card should be in here, but that's all right. We don't have it. Uh, we're going to try without it. But that's this is a card to be thinking about if we should have this in here over, probably over like Secession, to be honest. That's probably the slot where it would go in. But anyway, let's play some Vi Lux. And we'll go play over in Ranked. Hopefully this works. I did just that whole three-minute spiel. I really hope this pairing works. Um, they they just had a downtime, and, and it was an, announced the downtime was supposed to last for an hour, but it was only like 10 minutes. But we, we did a test try in normal, and we got paired. Okay, cool. We got paired again. Awesome. I don't want to edit it any because the person that donated for it didn't they're not they're not in here right now they didn't say they didn't say feel free to edit it so I, I don't want to edit it first I want to play as is <clears throat> okay we got a bunch of cool champions on their side we're a mulligan Lux and concerted strike um I may just have to mulligan everything, honestly. Let's just mulligan it all. Okay, we got Remembrance on three. See, like, this would this would be perfect to have the Mage Seeker Persuader, right? Like, you go Remembrance on three, and then turn four, you'd have Persuader, Persuader, and you have two, four, three challengers. I think that's a better card. Hey, Thorwolf. And we get we get the power of the eager apprentice on turn two. Still get to play the remembrance on three. Um, don't really want to block there. So this is kind of odd. Like I I do kind of want to attack. And 
The problem is they block, they get to level up the Sejuani and the Vladimir. Oh, no, no, because now this isn't going to be a six mana spell anymore. Right, now it's just a five mana spell. Basically, I want it, because I want, like, in case we get Radiant Guardian, I want the Radiant Guardian being a lifesteal tough. But I guess, I guess we don't really need the six mana spell. We only have, right, because we don't, like, these aren't Mage Seekers, so it's okay. It's okay that it's a five mana spell. All right, everything's good. Sorry, I kind of went, <laughs> kind of panicked there for a second, but we're not really that big of a Mage Seeker deck. Take a look at this. Ooh. So I was planning on unyielding spirit, the swift wing lancer. That was my plan because then I could just keep challenging every turn and, and my Lancer never dies. But the plan just changed. Radiant Guardian now. Justice will be served. I think against, against an aggressive deck like this, putting the Unyielding Spirit on the Radiant Guardian is probably going to be better. Don't want to play the succession because I want to have the mana for the unyielding spirit. <laughs> yep. We got a real powerful elite there at the the Cythria. <laughs> There's thing, what do I do against to no one. Radiant Guardian? That is that is a great card against Radiant Guardian. New recruit reporting in. I love a taste of the action. Whoa! Hey! Killing me. Yay, just kind of have to survive. Now we get to untap. Now we have single combat and concerted strike that we get to respond with. Mm, we'll go single combat. All right, gain that five life. Basically, all their champs are leveled up. Burn them. Destruction feeds my heart's fire. Um. I feel kind of bad if they just go Elixir of Iron here and save this. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
How do I want to do this? I could potentially kill both of those with a judgment. We would take a little... The Judgment play, we were taking damage from the Scar Mother. Mm. Well, that's too bad. So Sejuani levels up. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh right, because the tough. Yeah. It doesn't because of the tough. Is it actually six damage goes to Radiant Guardian? Very nice. Let the light guide you. Nah, it's not worth it. Back up to twenty. That's not bad. Stand and fight. Let it flow. I will end this here. Just fine. The level up Sejuani, but Sejuani doesn't do damage to us because the tough here. I think it's just a safer play to do that than play the judgment. And yeah, I could kill Vladimir. I'd rather kill Sejuani that has the ability to frostbite our stuff. Dang, that's going to be a big Sejuani. Fight or die. Give them both. Yeah, exactly. So didn't block didn't block Vlad because yeah, Vlad has regeneration, but then also yeah, we would just, we would have gotten frostbitten if I would have blocked Vlad. Okay, that's that's good. That takes out Big Sejuani. Strike for justice. This one's mine. Yielding Spear is pretty silly. It is pretty silly. Anybody feel bad for my opponent right now? Own what you take. 
This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's now impossible for them to win. Would it help if I apologized? Yeah, you do. You feel bad for him. I I did too. Feel bad for him too. Trying to do cool Vladimir stuff. And unyielding spirit just like nah. Now that was definitely not a meta deck. Vladimir Swain said Juani, definitely not a meta deck. Alright, let's see. We got Remembrance on three. I'm gonna keep Vi like this. My best draw is probably like Eager Apprentice that I can play on turn two. It's probably my best draw. Draven Lee Sin is a deck that I have written down as a deck to make. I've had some people in chat ask for some Draven Draven Lee Sin. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Ugh. Move the chair this way. There we go. A little more in the camera. Let's see what I have written down. I have Draven Lee Sin, Gangplank Swain, and Katarina Quinn. Those have all been kind of some decks people have requested. Yeah, we killed their we killed their Swain earlier. So could Thermogenic being the Draven? Um The spirit gives to those who listen. Clear your head. Let your instincts speak. Could Thermogenic being the Draven? That that Thermogenic Beam can be a valuable card for leveling up Lux later. If I don't Thermogenic Beam Draven, then I'm probably looking at playing Secession. Like, like, those are probably our best options, either Secession or Beam. I'll go with Beam. I think it's good to get Draven out of here. Because <clears throat> they can have Draven, you know, with the quick attack. Like, we try to block with Calvary. Uh, they put some spinning axes and stuff on it. Well, oh well. Do you think two copies of three champs in a deck is possible? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. Kato's annoying. I wonder if I'm supposed to, to pass and, like, let this die and play Radiant Guardian? I'm doing this. No, I'll play Vine. The dragon remembers. Yeah, Lee Sin plus Might is great. That is true. That is true.
Seven mana next turn. Vi stands for violence. Boo. That's true, there are an Ionia deck. I gotta watch out for Deny. Deny and Will of Ionia if I just try to go for Judgment this turn. Because I could play Judgment this turn. I'm glad I didn't like set up and take more damage last turn and then go Radiant Guardian last turn because they would have just bounced it. I'm glad we played like the Vi and blocked the Cato. Why would they give that challenger? Axes coming right up. Could have like given like the one power thing challenger and just try to kill me. I think they're they're realizing their mistake. All right, hope this works. If it doesn't, we lose six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we lose if it doesn't. Come on, work. I guess it's not going to. See, I would have been safer to go single combat, single combat, mystic shot, all that stuff. Try for the flashy play, which against Ionia, I guess I should, should not have done. Shouldn't have gone for the flashy play against Ionia. Should just go... Go safe. But man, that would have been great. I mean, it was it was basically it was game over either way, right? Like if they don't have it, they had they had two cards left that we didn't know about. So if they don't have, uh, you know, an answer, we win the game on the spot. And if they have an answer, they win the game on the spot. Like it was, it was just. Either way, it was game over. They unfortunately had it. But, but I guess I should have just played safer and played all the mystic shots and stuff like that. Take a look at this. Yeti Yearling. How can I help? So we can, we could have turn, we could have next turn Remembrance if we want. Um, or I could Mystic Shot this Arachnoid Horror. If I Mystic Shot the Horror, no, let's let's just have Remembrance next turn. Because if I if I Mystic Shot here. Then my next turn's really not going to be any good. Like my turn three, uh, excuse me? like my turn three would basically just be this eager apprentice. So we attack in, they block, and we have remembrance. Oh, after all, we just played against you. GGs.
50 G's. I went for the game winning play instead of playing it safe and just killing a bunch of stuff. And it cost me. But, all good. Alright, let's send in the Grizzled Ranger. And if they want to block and kill Grizzled Ranger, we get another Radiant Guardian. Okay, they did not. These old eyes still see far and clear. Hmm. I'm on it. Let's see what else they got. I'm kind of planning like mystic shots. <clears throat> kill that thing. Thermogenic beam. Kill Callista. That was good. They basically played till, you know, they didn't do that right away because I would have been able to Mystic Shot it, but it's like they knew I had the Mystic Shot coming. Oh well. All right, two and one. My luck. Alright, another aggro deck. <clears throat> Hoping to get some more Radiant Guardians in play. Because we have the Secession, like, this is a really good matchup for Secession. Okay, because, like, they could go Elise, and then I could have turn two a session to be able to block Elise. They don't have Elise. I'm just going to take the four. Like, with us drawing Remembrance, I'll just take the four and play Remember Remembrance next turn. Maybe that's not even smart to play Remembrance next turn. I mean, it's if it's Radiant Guardian, that's going to be bad for me. Okay. We got the tough one. Maybe playing towards Transfusion, and if that's the case, Noxion Fervor. Mm. Yeah, it's gotta be worth it. Save three life, it's gotta be worth it. So we still, you know, trade two for two. Not bad. They do not want to take 5 damage. They're not about that take 5 damage life. 
Ooh, crawling sensation. Happy to do whatever's needed. Well, that works out really well. Now I have five mana remembrance. Come on, Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian. Ow. I pull the string. That could have worked out really well. Let me change into Especially with like the double concerted strike. If that was a Radiant Guardian, that would have been awesome. All right, they doing some challenging. We're gonna try to take down Elise. So we take two damage. Okay. <clears throat> Glad we didn't take the extra three from the fervor earlier. blocker. Good to just stay alive. Not take eight more damage. Just gotta watch out for Darius. I need to, you know, keep, like, concerted strike for another Darius. Thermogenic beam can take down a Darius as well. back. It did feel like how like they passed quickly to me. They wanted me to tap out and then play Darius and then go straight to attacks. Um, it's just a waste of thermogenic beam. Right or hmm. None shall oppose me. Okay. Do your worst. Could Mystic Shot plus Thermogenic Beam to take out the Aristocrat, but that's only 14 damage, it's not 15. Magic has no place here. Alright, I like having that detain. It's a good card to have. Put an end to magic. I don't even like this challenge. I mean, that's actually like the best thing for them to block. I just gave them the best blocks they could have. Alright, cool. I think I was going to be playing... 
I, I wanted to keep Mystic Shot and I was gonna keep Mystic Shot and Detain available while while they're in combat in case of you know tricks. Uh, but I could still play the Vi and have both of those available. And so I was gonna uh, play the Vi there. All right, four and one. <laughs> Dog's just rolling around. All right, we got turn three remembrance. Um, the investigator creating a detain. Not bad. Vi's not bad. Mystic shot, not bad. A bunch of not, not bad. So I'll, I'll keep it. Hey, detective. Thanks so much. And Sanjo with the brand new Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome. Y'all get some hype boats in there. What's my opinion on the number one meta deck right now? I'd say there's probably two, two top ones. If I had to pick one, it would be Elise, Callista, They Who Endure. And shortly behind that is probably Misfortune, Sejuani. Those are probably the top two meta decks right now, as far as most played. New recruit um. reporting in. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad not repost. I was gonna feel bad if they just had repost. Especially if I have like Mystic Shot that could help protect the next turn against repost. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Here we go. All right, gonna take that thing out for one mana. to be able to have Vi challenge something else, like they play something else good. We'll have Vi challenge that. Um, and then, yeah, if they had... If they had something that we needed to Mystic Shot or Detain during that combat, we could. Who does not know the name I don't know. I know the name of Laurent. Alright, here comes the punchline. Yeah, Demacia does have a, just a ton of good five drops. <laughs> Moose, attack! Moose, attack! It's a fun word to say, Moose. Moose. Get back here. Fun word to say. Terra, don't freeze. Are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Don't you kill my Lux. Thanks, Detective Q. Thank you. Looking for trouble? It found you. I'm glad they didn't have Fleet Feather Tracker. I guess Fleet Feather Tracker can kill us anyway, but. So, trade. Love ya. Hmm. 
So my best play is ugh, Concerted Strike and Mystic Shot level up Lux, right? I think that's my best play. Yep, I stream every single day. Balin! Maybe, uh, Balenciaga? Maybe that's how we pronounce that? Balenciaga? I'll go with Yaya. Yaya is also fun to say. Thank you, Yaya. Also keeping that hype going. So the thing I don't like about this is that if they have their own concerted strike, they get to respond with their own concerted strike on these two and kill Lux. That's that's what that's what's been giving me pause. We we have seen them play concerted strike already. Okay, good. Been watching from YouTube. Thank you so much. All right, Mystic Shot Cythria. Level up Lux. Get Final Spark, Final Spark, Swiftwing Lancer. Ooh. Okay, well. They get to, they get to kill my Lux. It's just how it is. Can't bite on an empty stomach. Just how it is. To the light. And I didn't block. Yeah, obviously we, we had a free block, but I didn't block because we had the free final spark. But I'd rather play. <laughs> Unyielding spirit? No! Demacian needs heroes. Hmm. Remember when Grizzled Ranger was a 4 1? Now it's just this little 3 1. No, I never played League of Legends. So all these characters are new to me. I may just Unyielding Spirit a Grizzled Ranger. It does get to attack twice a turn. It's not the worst thing. I think we figured out what we're going to Unyielding Spirit. Figured it out. Next turn, 13, 5. Let the light guide you. Uh, no, I haven't tried out the Bazaar. I'm not sure what that is either. For the glory of Demacia. Into battle with hearts aglow. I think this is safe. One card left. This is a fairly safe attack. 
Maybe I should be attacking with the Badger Bear also, actually. Because, like, they'd have to block with Quinn. I mean, I could just be attacking with everything, honestly. An enraged Yeti deck for Meme Tier Monday? Uh, we've, we've, been, we've done a couple of Yeti decks, honestly, for Meme Tier Monday. I think not this past Monday, but the Monday before that we did a Yeti deck. Oh no. So soon. Well, now I feel bad for not playing Secession or Conservator. Oh, they're just going that attack? That gives them two out of four. So basically I wanted the reason why I didn't do more attacks is because I wanted um I wanted that extra... Th I, the reason why I didn't play either of those is because I wanted that extra three mana to go along with Lux here where it have um, the Detain available with it as well. Yeah, Lux plus... Uh, Lux plus Unyielding Spirit is basically GG. So we ended up with that 4-1... Just that loss that Ionia deck where if they, you know, if they're one of their last two cards couldn't stop Judgment, we would have won on the spot. Um, but they did. I could have played it safer, you know, going with single combat, single combat, Mystic Shot. And I guess I should have just done that against the Ionia deck. Could have been safer. Um, but, yeah, there we go. So, uh, Basically, <laughs> Unyielding Spirit, Lux, still great. Vi was really good. Radiant Guardian is awesome. And I like having all these concerted strikes and single combats and stuff like that. I did really like Eager Apprentice. I thought Eager Apprentice was awesome. Like being able to have turn two Eager Apprentice get you to Remembrance. And honestly, just having, you know, sometimes we'd have the Eager Apprentice die on turn three. And then we just have five mana Remembrance on turn three and see if we turn turned on a radiant guardian like that's pretty awesome like you can have turn three lifesteal radiant guardian with eager apprentice on turn two i wasn't that impressed with secession like we talked about i i yeah i wasn't too impressed with secession i just think you should be playing mage seeker persuader not not secession like that's something um secession is really good against elise though you know like you don't play anything on turn one turn two you can cast secession and get a three three <clears throat> and so like if they play if they play turn two elise and are going to attack with it then you play turn two three three that's awesome so that is something that that elise can really do um but i think i'd rather have mage seeker persuader in general so yeah i think i'd play i'd play persuader um with conservator i think i would go down to one and i'd go up to three eager apprentice i, w I was just impressed with eager apprentice even like turn five or no turn five yeah turn five we had, we went, uh, we just had our five regular mana, and we played Eager Apprentice, then we had three regular and two spell mana, and then we blocked with Eager Apprentice, and then we got to Remembrance. You know, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, I was just impressed with that, so I would, I would change those up. And then, last thing, I like all these cards, um... Yeah, I would want... That's the last thing. Is I, I do think that Purify is really good right now, especially against They Who Endure. I could see They Who Endure being a problematic card. But with that being said, you do have the ability to create three Detains. But I, could, I do kind of want to play one Purify in these decks right now because of how popular They Who Endure is. I just don't know exactly where you'd fit it. It would probably be over the third Concerted Strike. That would probably be where you would find room for a Purify. Maybe that's not necessary with having all the detains. Um, but I could see I could see going to two concerted strike, one purify. That's something to kind of watch out for. Um because I do like purify a whole lot right now. You don't really want to purify your own thing very often, especially like when you're playing on yield and spirit. But um but yeah, there we go. All right. That's Vilux. Y'all watch it on YouTube. Hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of the deck. I just think these these Lux decks with Unyielding Spirit, like these decks, Lux, Remembrance, Unyielding Spirit, Radiant Guardian, um, these decks are really good. 
right now. And uh, yeah, like they're really strong. It's the meta game's not aggressive enough uh, to go under this too much. Like we played against a lot of aggro decks and still did just fine. Um, and like the investigators giving you detain give you a lot of stuff, but not many decks have good answers to unyielding spirit as we saw. Um, all right. So that's it. That's Vilux. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.